They say the wolf on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf climbing the hill. Always be that wolf climbing the hill. Always hungry for more. Always hungry to grow. To feed your mind and rise to the highest level you can take yourself. Never looking back. Always looking forward to the next feast. Feast of success in whatever you do. It does not matter if you have to walk alone for a while. It is much better to walk alone in the right direction than to follow the herd walking in the wrong direction. Stay strong. Be different. Your destiny is in your hands. Get out there and hunt it. You know. You know when you are guilty of wasting time and laying in bed and you're being lazy. You know it. Whether that was 7, seven o'clock in the morning or 6 o'clock in the morning, you know it. You have to start the cycle of waking up early by waking up early. Success is not convenient. You have to do what is required to accommodate success. Holding the line. Maintaining the standard. Giving no slack, none. That's the discipline. There are opportunities that are going to come your way. And there might be some other things going on. And you have to make a choice. You have to ask yourself the question. What do you want? Because if you don't know what you want, nothing else matters. How I'm about to use my time. Is it positive? Is it purposeful? Is it leading in the direction of where I'm going and the meaning of my life? Is it productive? And is it profitable? But when you know what you want, E, why do you wake up at three? Because I know what I want. One thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it helps you get things done. And when you get things done, when you, you, you actually do things, you, 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 you have more success. I wake up, boom, and I go pursue. And if you're going to really be successful in life, if you're going to have it, if you're going to be it, you're going to do it, I need you to take personal responsibility. And I want you to say, the reason I'm not as amazing yet, because I hit the snooze button. That's why I'm not amazing right now. A big part of success is just not being lazy and just doing it. Yeah. Just get, that's like 90% of it is just showing up. The reason why I'm not amazing right now is because I couldn't get up early enough because I told myself I'm not an early person. Get there and start working. Like, you're not going to feel perfect every day. If I felt, if I only worked out when I felt good, I'd be a fat. I'm not, I'm not amazing because I would prefer to make excuses than make adjustments. That's why I'm not amazing. Because there's a lot of days I don't want to do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same with everybody that, is, that actually gets good at something. I want you to do me a huge favor. I want you to stop talking about this person didn't do that, that person didn't do this. This thing got didn't have that. I didn't grow up here. I didn't get this at bad. I didn't get kill it. Kill it. You, you get there's gotta be those days you push through. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why haven't you reached amazing yet? Just keep it 100. I'm not amazing because I'm lazy. Just be one, just just look at yourself in the face and be honest. I'm not amazing because I'd rather spend my money on shoes. I'd rather spend my money on stuff than to make a sacrifice in a book or to fly and go. To, I'm not amazing because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing to be amazing. And getting up early is not only an incredible competitive advantage because most of your competitors are asleep, but getting up early is a great gift to give yourself. You get more life. I always tell my, I always say that I'm like, the most lazy disciplined person I know because I don't want to do it yeah but I always do do you want to be an artist do you want to be an engineer I don't know but I want you to start the year off we're not talking about you know fake dreaming and just writing goals down and be doing it I'm talking about knowing what you want because when you know what you want that's where the drive comes from that's where the passion comes from when the thing is done when the discipline has been implemented Remember what that feels like and then remember that those minutes and those hours, they turn into weeks and 
months and years, and holding the line in those critical minutes will put you in an infinitely better place, physically and mentally, if you maintain the discipline. I don't have my morning routine game. I feel, you know, out of sorts. Uh, so I think it's true for everybody. You gotta own your morning, you gotta win it. Because that starts and sets up everything else. People need that discipline of routines that will help the rest of the day go better. Get some moments real clear about it. It's really small. Because it will build. Trust it. That momentum builds. Trust those gloomy and bad dark days. Trust that those are going to be there. Honor the difference. When we honor the struggle instead of hate the struggle, we can really achieve extraordinary things because our mindset's in the right place. Now the first night you're gonna have a hard time going to sleep. What you do is the next morning you wake up early anyways. That first night you only got five hours worth of sleep and now you're tired throughout the day, good. Because then when you get to bed that night, you will turn off that computer and you'll be able to go to bed earlier like you wanted to. You can live on six hours sleep. So you have 18 hours, you have 18 hours, I want to know what you're doing with your 18 hours. Because you can work your nine to five, and that's nine, and you can travel for an hour here and there. Respect, nice little solid commute. Oh, you want to be a family man? Mazel tov. You can spend two hours with your kids. What are you doing with those other five hours? You're watching House of Cards. You're playing Madden. You're relaxing from the other intense 10. Gary, I already spent 11 hours. Well, great, then don't complain or want more. Respect that by getting rest and this and that, you were giving up opportunity to go into a new world. You want the audacity to have a 1% life. Like, let's call it what it is. You want to live as well as the one to 2% in the world. It's not very complicated. The math is very raw. Like, you, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, then you have to pay your dues to get there. And you have to be lucky enough to figure out that you had talent in the thing that you actually want to do. Because you can work 24 hours a day, and if you stink at golf, or you're not a good content producer, or your logos look like that I would make, then you're gonna lose. So that's what you gotta do. The most important thing you can do is win the morning. Just win the morning, man. It is not easy but it is worth it. Greatness is the most demanding mistress you're ever going to encounter. And I understand the advice that I'm about to give you is not for everyone. Most people should turn this off. But if you're gonna stick with me, if you're going to listen to what I have to say, it's because you want something tremendous in your life. You wanna stand out from everyone else. You wanna do something more than other people think is possible. You literally want to stand outside the norm. And if that's the case for you, then understand that as Albert Einstein said, only one who devotes himself to a cause with his whole strength and soul can be a true master. For this reason, mastery demands all of a person. If you want to get great, if you really want to make a skill set your own, if you want to be able to do something, and at the end of the day, if you want to transform the world, if you want to make grand changes, if you want to do all of that shit, all the empty words that people spout all the time, let me tell you, the only thing that's going to separate you from all the other blowhards who are just talking words and will never do anything is to give yourself over completely, to let that obsession, let that thing that you love completely consume you. And in that, your only chance to really become great lies. As Franz Kafka said, don't bend. Don't water down. Don't try to make it logical. Rather, follow your most intense obsessions mercilessly. Can you do that? Can you become mercilessly obsessed? Can you let something occupy you to where all logic and reason is gone out the window and the only thing that matters is whether or not you accomplish? Will you hold yourself accountable to metrics? Will you look at the world and see 
Am I actually making change? Are you prepared to hold yourself to that standard? Because if you are, there is nothing you can't do. If you're willing to take that responsibility on to transform yourself as a human being, if you give yourself over to getting great